Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video, I am so excited because I'm going to be filming my February favorites and disappointments. Or should I call it like favorites and flops? I don't know, I've been wanting to do like a little name for it. I have not filmed a favorites video slash disappointment video in so long and I used to be so good about it. I would literally film them every single month when I would get new products. But I've actually noticed as I've been traveling more and more and more, the less opportunity I have because I, the less I'm likely to try out more makeup. And I don't know why that is. I just, it just kind of is how it is. I want to know that makeup I'm using is like bomb. So I think that's that's kind of why I've been like slacking on my favorites videos. You know what I mean? And a lot of people I feel like nowadays don't really like watching favorites videos as much. I still love watching them, but I love making them and I love filming them. And I love actually showing you guys products that are just like bomb as fuck. And I always get such amazing tweets from you guys saying thank you so much for recommending a certain product and it's worked so good for you and that's like really what I wanted to do. So these are some products that I've been loving this past month, in the past couple months actually. I have a couple products that I have not been loving the past couple months. But yeah, you guys, that's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. See that fucking highlight? That's telling you not to fucking watch if you don't fucking like it. But if you guys do like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny MUA and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this February favorites and disappointments video. <laughs> Also, if you guys are wondering, this eye look, I did film it. That will be going up next week, I believe. It's pretty cool. I'm actually really, really happy with how it looked. I actually did a recreating a fan's makeup look. So that's kind of what this eye look is going on. So you will be seeing that coming very, very soon. But anyway, let's go and get right into today's video. So number one favorite product that I've been using in the past month, if I can just say just one product and end the video, this is the product. This is the Dr. Brandt 2% Retinol Complex Serum. You guys, this is the product that's changed my skin when it comes to texture. Do I still have texture? Yes, of course, I definitely have texture still. But I promise you when I say that my texture has diminished literally 50% in the past month of using this, I'm not kidding you, it is. I, I swear by this, I'm literally almost done with this. I think I have like another month left in here, but I use this every other night, maybe like three to four times a week. And I use, of course, SPF with it as well during the daytime. Retinol is basically like an agent that helps clear skin texture, like with like blackheads, whiteheads, things like that. A lot of you guys tell me like, dude, your skin's looking so good recently. What are you using? What the fuck is going on with your skin? Why is it looking so nice? It's the Dr. Brandt 2% Retinol Cream. I mean, I'm sure any 2% Retinol will be great if you use it wisely and use it well. But this one I just noticed has been the best for my skin. It doesn't make my skin break out in any way, shape or form. It's the most hardcore yet soothing version of this. this is what it looks like. It's a little thingy, this little pump. I swear by it. I swear by it. Next product, we're moving right along. I just wanna talk about this really quickly too. This is a makeup remover that I've been using consistently. This is the Lancome Bifacial Double Action Makeup Remover. I'm not kidding you guys when I say this is probably the best eye makeup remover I've ever tried ever. This shit takes off everything. Literally doesn't sting your eyes at all. It's an incredible remover. It's like shocking, like how bomb it is. So I think it's incredible if you guys are looking for a really good remover that doesn't sting your eyes, that takes off literally everything waterproof. Any makeup you could need to be taken off, this will take it off for the eyes it's amazing like holy fuck don't sleep on it long comb y'all fucking did that with that one next moving right along we're gonna talk about a primer i've been loving the past month this is from herborian this is the pink perfect cream this is a blur secret glow skin refining four in one Primer Herborian is a Korean skincare brand, I believe, and they are now in Sephora. And it's actually really cool. I met with them up in New York. They We had like a little meeting and they were the sweetest fucking team ever. And they gave me a couple of their products, try the Pink Perfect Cream. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. And bitch, I literally am in love with it. And I think the reason why is because one, it is a little bit blurring. It's not like so blurring like a professional or not so silicone like that, but it gives you like the most beautiful, nourishing base for your skin while also blurring your pores a little bit. I was like, what the fuck? It doesn't really control my oil. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't. As a base, it's incredible. Like as a skin base, I'm wearing it today as my base. Like I've been wearing it every single time I've been doing my makeup, I'll use moisturizer and then this. And I've just noticed that like literally when I put it on, it just feels luxurious. I feel like a rich fucking white woman on the go. It's like, oh my God, like I can't even handle how nice this feels. I would go to Sephora, get a sample of it, just try it out. It's more of an expensive primer for sure. But I just want you guys to try it out, see how it feels on the skin. If it feels incredible to me. Like I like literally, oh my God, let's put it on my skin right now. Oh, I shouldn't be wasting it. I know, I'm sorry. It just feels so smooth and so nice. And it dries beautifully. It gives you a little bit of a silky feeling, but it's not too much where it feels like straight up silicone. It's not like that. It's incredible. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Perfect, I'll be right out. Okay, my man just got here. So um, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 
He's gonna have to realize I need to finish this video. <laughs> and I know these are really, really random products that they're not like fun, exciting products to be talking about, but they're ones that I feel like are gonna be really, really good for like being on the go, you know what I mean? So next, the product I wanna talk about really quickly because I've actually like gone through like almost half of this. This is the It Cosmetics It's Your Brush Love Instant Brush Cleaner. So usually I you, I would use the Cinema Secrets Cleaner. It's like a huge like blue tub. It's so intense, it's so big, but it smells like paint. And I feel like every time I use it, it's like going away at my life. Like there's like less, less time in my life being attached to it, but it works so well. So my mom actually bought this cleaner and she was like, dude, why don't we just try this like random It Cosmetics brush cleaner? She's a huge fan of It Cosmetics, as am I. I love them too. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's try it out. And this guy's is like the complete opposite of what the other one is. It cleans your brushes amazingly, but it smells like citrusy and it smells so good. And the ingredients are so much, so much better than what the last one was. Like, of course there's like alcohol in it and whatnot. If you are someone that like has makeup brushes and doesn't want to clean them, like deep clean them every single time, try the It Cosmetics brush love. It is so, so, so good. And that's like, and it has a pump on it. You don't have to like pour into a little thing and use it. It's just like, bomb. I can literally wear this as fucking perfume. We have next, ooh, this one is like the product of the month as well. This is the Anastasia X Omri Z Highlighter. You guys, I don't feel like there's like anything else to say besides this. I've used this so many times on my channel now. I've talked about it so many times on my channel now. It's just like, girl, this highlighter? on God's green earth. You know what I like about this one so much? Is because when you put it on, it doesn't give you a golden cast on your skin. Cause usually I feel like with really gold highlighters, I love them so much, but I feel like they do, since I am a lighter complexion, it gives you like a golden cast. This one is gold with no cast. It just gives you a golden shine and it doesn't give you like a weird, like if you turn, it's like gold. So I feel like that's what I really, really like about it. It's such a high shine. It builds so nicely. It goes from like such a subtle shine to like a beaming shine so quickly. And I just feel like it's amazing. And I just want to congratulate Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina, and Omri Z for this amazing highlighter. You guys absolutely killed it. I love Amra. She's such a wonderful person. I think she's the sweetest. Norvina as well. Like, you guys are just both amazing. And congratulations on this amazing collaboration. Part two of Omri Z. Do you guys remember when Omri Z came out with a um, palette with Anastasia? Old, old score right there. Those are the good times. Next product I want to talk about really quickly. I actually have two glosses here because I've been really, really into gloss recently. Gloss has been something that I'm just like, dude, I love a good gloss or a really creamy lipstick. These two are some of the ones I've been wearing very frequently. This is the Dose of Colors Can You Not. Actually, this is the today's the first time I ever tried this one. I'm not gonna lie, this is the one I've been wearing really frequently. Today was the first time I tried this out and I honestly love it. It's actually the gloss I'm wearing today. Dose of Colors came out with a new like high coverage glosses. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand so you guys can see what the color is. It's basically a really beautiful, it's like a dirty pink. It's like more of a cool tone, dirty pink. It's not too, too bright. It's not too cool. It's just a really, really pretty neutral pinky color. I think it's beautiful and it gives you such a high shine. It's very comfortable on the lips. If you wanted to not wear lipstick and get a good like high coverage, full coverage on the lips, I would really suggest the new Dose of Colors glosses and they smell like cake batter. Okay guys, and then the second gloss I wanna talk about is of course the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is like one of the best glosses I've ever encountered. It's so comfortable. It smells amazing. It's like water. Mm -mm, no, it smells like fruit punch. That's like the one scent I can say it smells like fruit punch. The coverage is not nearly as much as the other one. As you can see, there's a lot more streakiness in it, but this is more of a high shine comfort gloss where it doesn't like give you like a lot of coverage. It's literally just a beautiful high glossy gloss and it smells amazing and it feels amazing and it's not sticky. It's a really, really lightweight formula, but it has a high shine to it and it's fucking from F Fenty Beauty. Who doesn't love Fenty Beauty, honestly, at this point? Oh, I love Rihanna so fucking much. Should I add this on top of this? Oh, now I'm just being dramatic, honestly, come on. So last but not least, when it comes to the favorites of this month, I want to talk about this really quickly. I've not used this that many times. I've only used it a couple times, but honestly, I've noticed how incredible it is, and I'm really shocked at how nice this product was. This is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. One, the fact that it's a Zodiac Palette, that's already literally like so fucking cute. Go BH, that's adorable. But I wanted to talk about this color in the middle specifically, and you know the reason I even tried it is because of freaking Rocio. Oh, Rocio Seha, this is because of you, bitch. This color in the middle right here is so incredibly beautiful. It has like, it's like a white with this golden undertone that's so, so nice. So these are like big shades. I'm gonna actually swatch a couple of them just so I can show you guys. The big shades are so creamy and nice. It's like really weird like how incredible these are. I'm not kidding you, like I was taken aback. These are definitely more on the powdery side. There's no denying it, they're a little bit powdery, but I feel like they can definitely be worked with. Look how beautiful these are. Like they're actually really, really intense. And they're BH Cosmetics, they're really, really cheap. And the mattes are super smooth and super nice and super blendable. What? Like I literally, like my mind was blown when I even tried this out. She wasn't wrong. Like these, this is really nice, especially for a drugstore brand like BH Cosmetics, for them to come out with such a nice palette like this. 
for such a cheap, affordable price. It's 25 eyeshadows. It comes with, oh, that's a highlighter. <gasps> 25 color and highlighter palette. Oh my God, I thought that was one big eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's nuts. Like that's incredible. You know what, let me look up how much this is because I'm actually quite curious. It's 22 bucks for 25, wait, for 25 shades, are you joking? Nope, 22 bucks. I, I don't know. That one, I truly don't know how they did that. That's like incredible pricing. Wow, and I just think it's so good. It has a great variety of mattes as well. Those mattes right there, those neutral transitioning mattes, they're really nice. You have your deep shades, you have a black, you have a brown, you have some purples. I think it's really nice. And I'm like really, really impressed by BH on this one. Really impressed. Okay guys, so that is it for my favorites. I only have two disappointments and we are gonna be done with today's video. So first one I wanna talk about, I've already talked about this actually on my channel. I don't know if you guys watched it, but I did a reviewing products that were super, super low rated at Sephora and this one took the cake. I'm not gonna lie. And I think the reason why this Too Faced white peach palette took the cake for me is because I was actually so excited about it. You know when you're excited about something and you try it out and you're disappointed that you make it, it makes it like so much more disappointed? That's how I felt with this. So I tried these shades out and honestly, they were just not good. The one, like the mattes were like not that pigmented. These shimmers were not that great either. And they didn't really give me any kind of like shine on this, like on the eye at all. And I just felt like the colors were not cohesive enough. These two layers are cohesive. I think the first two layers are fantastic. But these four, look, when you cover that, what what kind of fucking, what peach ass palette is that? This is a peach palette. They should have kept it at eight and made the shades better. They made it 12 and a lot of them didn't really work very well. I just didn't like this palette. I thought it was really, really poorly done and I wanted to like it a lot and that's why I was so disappointed because I thought it was so, I just had so much high hopes for it. I just really, I was like, oh, I wanted to fucking, you know, I really wanted to live for it, but I couldn't. And I honestly, this was a really big disappointment for me. And second disappointment palette of the month was actually this. And I honestly, again, this is one of the things where I like had such high hopes and expectations and I was sorely let down. This is the Mac Jeremy Scott palette. The packaging, I just have to say before we even start, the packaging is A+. This is so beautiful, so well done. The whole entire collection is amazing. Jeremy Scott is absolutely amazing, Max amazing. But you know what really disappointed me of the palette is when you open it, you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be getting something so crazy. This is gonna be so fucking lit, I'm gonna be living. I just feel like when I opened it, I was like, oh. Like I just wasn't happy. Like one, the colors are just so off. Like it just, they're so off to me. I'm looking at them and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like what's happening? I get the whole like color scheme per bar. I'm assuming that's what it is. Like this is a, a very like valentines -y bar. This is like a bronzy neutral bar, a blue bar, a purple bar. I just feel like one, the amount per shadow was like a joke. Like literally it's such a little amount. It literally, like, when you're looking at it, it feels like a kid's, like a kid's palette. And I wasn't really impressed. And like I swatched a couple of them and they were super powdery, super just like chunky. And I'm sure a lot of them blend great. And I'm sure a lot of them work very nicely and feel great but swatching some of them I'm like oh my gosh like this is not good dead ass the zodiac palette is like nicer than this one and I was just disappointed because like the way the packaging set up everything all the packaging all the product is so beautiful on the outside I bet that had a lot more to do with Jeremy Scott and Mac had to do with of course the formulas of the product but I was just disappointed in the actual formula of it and the amount you were getting and just in general like it just didn't look appealing to me I thought it was like the whole idea was really cool that was like a like a music bar situation I don't fucking know but it looked really cool Cool. looks sickening but at the end of the day it just like, didn't perform very well when I was disappointed when I opened it and I was like oh I don't like the color scheme I don't like how much product is in here I don't like how all the black empty space around it it just doesn't make sense to me and that is it you guys that's it for my favorites and disappointments of the entire month it was so much fun creating this video you guys i love doing them i hope you guys enjoy them as well i think they're just a cool fun way to kind of interact about our favorite products that throughout the entire month if you guys have any favorite products for february if you guys want to let me know please comment down below what you guys like from the month because honestly i couldn't continue to do these videos if i didn't have your guys's opinions and your guys's input on your favorite products that helps me try out more products as well if you guys even want to see me doing these kind of videos anymore just let me know i just kind of wanted to do one of these i haven't done them in so long and i just felt inspired to film this because I'm going out of town next week and it's the end of February and it was such a cool month. I loved February so much and I wanted to do this video and I had a lot of products I really wanted to talk about, especially ones that I just thought you guys would really enjoy. Like they're really practical and things that I'm like, oh wow, like that really made a difference in my makeup life. As always, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. I will leave everything linked down below as I always do and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys, I love you. Mwah. Woo! We're done! I like this jacket. So today's video, I am so excited. I'm gonna be filming my February favorite shot the fuck.
shocking like how bomb it is i was like oh my god you took off everything like everything everything bitch everything try the a cosmetics brush love it's so good hey <laughs> okay what is next zaya god they smell so fucking good mm. does that make it do you like my makeup zach yes i do it looks very you like it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like an asshole. Fucking good, man. I love, of course, as you guys know, filming my favorite. Oh my god, I like heartburn. <laughs>